Well, hey there, thanks for stopping by. Hey, I wonder, is this quite possibly the best tool for you to get started with your kids in woodworking? Well, hey there, I'm John, and welcome to Hand Tool Homeschool, where we are bringing dads and kids together one woodworking project at a time. So up to this point, I've been working with all kinds of tools. I hadn't actually done a lot of work with this. What is this tool anyway? It's a coping saw. And I don't really have a lot of experience with it. I've used it a little bit. I know the basics about it. But up to this point, I hadn't done anything with my kids with a coping saw. We've been working with, you know, mallets and hammers, hammering nails, some saws. Let's see, what else have we worked with? You know, all your normal tools, you know, drills and screwdrivers and things of that nature. But we hadn't touched the coping saw until recently. So what's up with this saw? What's it all about? Well, I don't really even know the proper parts of it, but I can tell you that this here is the frame. This is a thin blade. You can get different size blades with different size teeth on them. You can go finer. You can go really, really fine. Most of them are fine anyway, but you can go super fine. So there's different teeth. You've got your, your handle here, which actually twists and loosens up and it puts tension on the blade. And there's these pins here and all these things here, you can twist these. You can actually turn the blade so you can make like different cuts, like you can do 90 degree cuts with it and so forth. But pretty much that's it. You've got a couple pins, you've got the frame, you've got the handle, and you've got the blade. It's a very simple tool. I do know a few things about this tool. For one, it's an Eclipse brand. I actually got it off of Amazon, and I'll put the link in the description below, but it's about $14, $15, something like that, and you can get blades really cheap for it. I do recommend that you get extra blades because they are known to break, especially if you're inexperienced, you might twist it and move it and snap them. So, But you know, I've actually used this one quite a bit and I haven't broken one yet. For the expense, which isn't much, I just buy an extra pack of blades to go with it. I do know that there are expensive coping saws. I think one is called New Concepts and it's over $100. And I know that a lot of the pro woodworkers out there, they, they tout some of these brands. But I hear from a lot of woodworkers, it's really an unnecessary thing. So I wouldn't rush out to buy that. So yeah, this one here is an Eclipse. I would recommend just sticking with something like this. You can buy it off Amazon and if you have Amazon Prime, you get it in a couple days. If not, you know, you can get it still in a week or so. It's got a wooden handle. It's sturdy. It's been recommended by many. So I would go ahead and get something like this. I would avoid the really expensive coping saws. Maybe, maybe someday if you master a coping saw and you have enough reasons for using one that you want to try a very expensive one and it really is that much difference in performance, well, okay. If you've done your research and you've mastered it, then go ahead and do that. But don't start out with a $100 coping saw. Get the $14 or $15 one, and trust me, it works fine, especially if you're teaching your kids. So is it good for kids? Is it the best tool for them to start out with? Actually, I kind of think so. It's really cheap. It's very safe to use, and you can cut out some fun things. You can cut out animal shapes. You can do different things. When you cut out these animal shapes, you can paint them. I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do with the coping saw with kids, and they have fun with it. My, my girls had a blast, and as soon as they were done, they had an animal shape, and they were really, really excited. So to answer the question at the beginning of the video, is this possibly the best tool to start your kids out in woodworking? I think so. The reason is, is because they have fun cutting and it doesn't take long for them to make what they're making and they feel like they've accomplished something and it makes them happy. They have fun. That's what we want. Beyond that, as a dad, what can you use the coping saw for? Hey, you can use it for the same projects you're doing with your kids, but you can also use it for other things like cutting out dovetail waste. If you go on to make joinery with dovetails, a lot of folks cut out the dovetail waste with a coping saw and it really saves a lot of time. That's one use. Another use is you can use it around the house. You can actually cut molding with it. That's what the coping saw, I believe, was designed for because they did what they called a coped joint. So they brought in molding like baseboard or crown molding and they met at the corners and the way you, you do a coped joint, you use this saw to do it and it makes those, those uh, moldings fit together and look really nice. So that's one thing you can use it for in the house as well. So for now, that's what I wanted to tell you about coping saws. They're great to start your kids out on. I hope this helps. Go out and buy a coping saw. 
And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe below. And until next time, always remember life's most important order. Love God, love each other, and woodwork. We'll see you next time.